Hello there, I'm Eric Reno, and this is a video for tipsquirrel.com. It's the free website for all things Adobe. In this video, we're gonna carry on from doing our Instagram post last time, and we're going to put 20 headshots onto a single card. All right, let's jump into XD and see how it's done. Okay, so here I am in XD. I'm gonna choose web here, and then open that up, make it as big as I can, and press Control zero, just to fit it all on screen. Then, using the move tool, click on the word web there, double click, and I'm gonna call this headshots. There we go. Just a little bit of housekeeping. All right, let's go and get a square, just as we did last time. And not really going to worry too much about how big or small it is. Um, actually, I'm gonna worry about how big it is. There you go, just a little bit smaller. And then a rectangle underneath it, just for the nameplate, as it were. And let's move that into place using the arrow keys. Okay, good. Now I've got the nameplate selected. I can then shift and click onto the uh, square here. And now they're into a little tiny group. Repeat grid, that's one, two, three, four, and five. There we go. And one, two, three, and four, there we go. All right, so that's our grid sorted out. Now we need to worry about the background here. So I'm gonna draw that in, and then I'm gonna draw it down, and you'll notice that we get that dotted line, and that's the page break. So we don't need that for this particular one, so let's take that away. All right, control zero to fit it back on screen. Now in here I can, as I did before, control the width of the borders between them or the gutters between them all. And I think something like that is gonna be just fine. 20 is good. But what I do want to do is take the rectangles here, the name plates, and I do wanna move them up just a little bit. So again, using the arrow key, take them up so they're a bit nearer to the headshot. There we go. As I'm doing that, you can see that everything is being formatted throughout. All right, let's go and get our headshots. So back into bridge. Let's select them all and click and drag over to XD. You can do this from your window system, that's fine. And then, hello cheeky, there we go, all in, looking fantastic. Now, this is still a beta, so it does have a few little snags, and I can see one right off the bat there, that the last four images are the first four images, not the last four that we wanted. Not a problem, I'm gonna go and get bridge, I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller. There we go, scroll down. Now all I've got to do here is literally just grab hold of this and drag it down and drop it. You'll notice that it's moved those four along. So we've lost one and the other three have been shifted along. Let's take this lady here and drag her in and then this gentleman and then this gentleman here. Now these images have come to me from Adobe Stock. They were all in one image. Details are probably coming up on the bottom of the screen. Okay, there we go. Now I don't like this rectangle, it's looking a bit too big now, isn't it? So let's uh, make that a little bit smaller, something like that. And then maybe we can just change the gutter in between them. There we go, make it a bit smaller too. Okay, that's good. All right, and then center that all up. Okay, good. All right, so now let's go and select one of those rectangles and then I'm going to put some text in it. There we go. And I'm going to make sure that it's centralized and I'm going to put add name here. Okay, now it's not exactly where I want it to be. That's not a problem. I can then just shift that around and make sure that it goes where I want it to. There we go. Easy. Now you may remember in the last video when we did one for Instagram, we gave the nice rounded corners. And I'm gonna do that again. I'm gonna click on one of them. It doesn't matter which one I, I click on. I just tend to go for the uh, top one, to be honest with you, the first one, just out of habit, if anything. And we see these four dots in the corner. I can then just bring those in and I can keep bringing them in until we get a circle. There we go. All right. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a texture behind something sort of paperish, 
it's one of my favorites. And to do that, I'm going to use a texture from my libraries. Again, I've got this from Adobe Stock. A little bit of setup needed here though. So what I need to do is make sure that nothing's selected, get my rectangle tool and draw out a rectangle. There we go. doesn't matter what it's filled with, but I'm going to fill the whole of the canvas with it. Okay, so that's going to be the placeholder for my texture, just as we did with the headshots. Okay, let's go and open my libraries. And then in my libraries, we should have some textures. And down in the textures, there should be a paper. There should be lots of paper, actually, because I quite like paper textures. There we go, lots and lots of them. I'm going to take this one here, this nice light colored one. I'm going to drag that onto the document. There we go and it fills it for us. Now over on the left hand side, we've got our layers and you can see that vintage blank paper is above the repeat grid. So let's take the repeat grid and move it up above the paper and then we reveal all our headshots. If you can't see the layers panel, there's a little button down the bottom left hand corner for the layers and the one above that is for assets. More about that another time, but you can add assets from your document or even from other places. More of that some other time. But anyway, back to layers. So there we go, we've got our repeating grid. Now we can use our background for some colors. So I'm gonna pick one of the circles here. And then for the border, I'm gonna choose a color here. And I'm gonna choose a rather a, a sort of a darker color. There we go. Let's darken that up just a little bit. There we go. And I can make that a little bit bigger. Cool. Okay, so that's going inside the circle. That's determined by these buttons here. So actually, if I go outside, I reveal a bit more of the headshot. But be warned, if your circle then goes outside of the repeating grid, it's going to clip it just ever so slightly. So just something to be aware of. All right. So next, what I want to do is uh, let's take that color again, by the way. So I'm going to get one of the circles. Let's get that color and I'm going to add it to my palette down here. And then if I go to the rectangle, I can then go to the border for that and I can use that same color for the border. And for the fill, well, maybe that color, but then just lighter. There we go. Good. Okay, I think they need rounding off as well. So let's round those off. It's going to be a bit tricky, so let's get the zoom tool and zoom in. I'm going to get a couple of them because as I'm zooming with one, it's easier to have a look at one of the others as you work. There we go. Also see that that name is not center to the rectangle. So let's sort that out like that and like that. Okay, good. And control Z, sorry, control zero to zoom back out again. And there we go. So now we can export that. So let's go to the burger menu and go to export and I can export all the artboards. There is only one. I'm going to export it as a PDF and a single PDF. That's fine. Export all. I'm going to change this, change where I'm going. Um, desktop's fine and posts and there should be one called headshots. There we go. And I'm going to call this headshots. There we go or heads it's called, and I'm going to export that out. Now, if I go into my folders, we'll be able to see that. In fact, we can even see it in bridge, should we wish. There we go. Okay, And in bridge, we should have in headshots our PDF. There it is. Okay, so I can then double click on that and it will open in the appropriate software. Okay, this has opened up in Adobe Accurate About Pro DC, and I can go to Tools, and I can say Edit My PDF, and I can go and edit that to my heart's content. So maybe I want to uh, just do this and change his name to whatever I feel it should be. There we go. Good. I can go through and make any adjustments I wish to. So there we go. That is making grids, repeating grids in Adobe XD. 
and adding some details to it and exporting it to a PDF. My name's Eric Reno. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell so you know when there's a new video and I will see you next time. Bye bye for now.